Hi you all. Hope you're all alright. Well, what is the first thing you do when you <gasps> jump out of bed? What do you do in the morning? What do you do? <gasps> you do? Do you know what? One of the things that I like to do is I'll open my curtains, look out, look out the window, and I like to see what the weather is what the weather's going to be today, whether it's going to be a bright sunny day or it's going to be rainy or maybe a bit dull. So actually, well, hmm, I haven't checked today what the weather's going to be. Can you, can you quickly just go and have a look outside for me? Can you go and see what the weather is? Okay, I'll just wait here for you. Okay, then tell me what the weather is. Oh, is it really? Well, so, well, yeah. Oh, that's good. Well, sunny days are one of my favourite days. Because I love to go for a walk, maybe go around the lake, maybe go see the ducks on a nice sunny day. But I like feeling the sun on my face. It's really good seeing the sun on my face. So yeah, and I like to go for a walk along the beach and eat ice creams and lick the ice creams. My favourite is the chocolate one. I do like the chocolate one. It has to have the chocolate chips in as well. <laughs> so, but sometimes on like rainy days, that can make you feel a bit down can't it because sometimes you have to stay in because it's all rainy and can be a bit more cold can't it but sometimes on rainy days you can put your wellies in but i do like to get out and i like to go and jump in the puddles and i'll take zach with me he likes to jump in the puddles as well so but there is one thing I'll give you some clues about something that when you have rain and the sunshine what do you think you get with rain and the sunshine do we know can you think hold on a minute what do you think what oh yes you do you get rainbows look i've got one over the church look we've got a big rainbow here that was over the church as well can you see that? Well done. You're good at this, aren't you? So this has got me thinking that some of the week you've got lovely, bright, sunny days and some of the week we've had rain, haven't we? I've liked the rain because it's also watered my plants as well. But there are some times in our lives, isn't there, that sometimes we can be bright and happy and then there's other times we can be sad isn't there and not feel so great but i'm thinking of a story that we've got a story that the bible tells us where god will always love us and he'll always be there and he'll always help us and it involves a rainbow can anyone think of what it is that's right it's the story of noah Shall we go and read the story now? And then we'll come back. Here's the story of Noah's Ark. In the beginning, God created a perfect and wonderful world filled with beauty and love. Many years later, when God looked down on the earth, God saw that his earth had gone wrong. God thought that the world had become filled with people who were sinful and wicked. He was sorry that he ever made it. So while people were fighting, cheating and lying, God decided to destroy all the evil people from the earth. But just as God was thinking this, he saw a man called Noah. Noah believed in God and prayed to him every day. Oh, here is one honest man. He is kind and loving and good and is worth saving. I will speak to him and tell him what to do. God spoke to Noah. Now listen carefully. I have something very important to tell you. 
The world that I created has gone wrong. I want to destroy this world and need you to help me create a new perfect world. No, I couldn't believe it. You mean every living creature destroyed? God told Noah that he wanted him to build an ark to save him, his wife and his three sons. He told him what he needed to do. I won't destroy every living creature, God said. And he told Noah that as well as his family, he wanted him to take every kind of animal, every two of every kind of animal with him on the ark. Noah got to work building the ark straight away. Noah's wife wondered what he was doing. Noah, what are you doing? She asked. God was talking to me today. God? Yes. He told me that the world has become so bad and evil that he had no choice but to destroy it with a flood. But he promised to save you and me, our sons and two of each animal in the land. What's an ark, Noah? It's a very big boat. God said it's going to have rooms inside like a house. It has to be big enough to hold two of every living creature and enough food for the animals and us to eat. So Noah got busy right away. He cut down trees for wood and he worked non-stop to make the ark. It took him many years to finish the ark. Many of Noah's neighbours came around wondering what he was doing. Noah explained, God told me to build a boat, a safe place for anyone who wants to be saved from the big flood. But all the people laughed at Noah. Ha, 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 a flood. You mean water will come out of the sky and drown all of us? I have never heard such a crazy thing in all my life. What a load of rubbish. You really make me laugh, Noah. After a long time working hard on the ark, it was finished and it was time to load up for their long journey. Noah was still hoping that the other people would apologise and come to the boat too. Come on in, Noah told his neighbours. There is enough food for you all. Be sorry to God for the way you have behaved and be saved from the flood. But people were still laughing at Noah. In fact, they enjoy laughing at the crazy man who spent his time building a strange boat. Throat they threw tomatoes at him, somebody shouted. Rocks, eggs, tomatoes, all kinds of food were flying through the air. When suddenly animals came towards the ark from all directions, the people watched in amazement as animals, birds and insects and every kind made their way towards the ark. The animals climbed into the ark in twos. Noah gave the people one last chance. The great flood is coming. The whole world is going to be destroyed. Come inside before it's too late. But the people continued to laugh at Noah. They laughed at him and called him crazy and stupid. Suddenly, the big door got closed by itself. God had closed the door and just as he did, the dark clouds start to move in. The people couldn't believe their eyes. Water is coming from the sky, just like Noah said. So the old man was right. The floodgates of heaven were opened and all the water above the earth came pouring down. The desperate people, wild with fear, started pounding the door and shouting for Noah to let them in. Noah! But God had shut the door and nobody could open it. The huge stormy waves rolled over the wicked people and swept them away. The ark sailed away and after many, many days of sailing, the land started to dry out. Then one day, the bottom of the ark hit dry land. 
We've been sitting here for so long now. How much longer is it going to take for the waters to go down? Noah's son asked. I know it's hard to have patience, but we must wait on God. When is it his time for us to leave the ark? He will tell us. Later, Noah decided to send out a dove. She came back in the evening with a leaf in her beak. Noah praised God. This means that not only are the waters still going down, but there are trees growing on the land. Noah thought, let's open the door of the ark and let all the animals loose now, shall we? Said Noah's son. No, God will tell us when. He may, may need a little more time to grow enough plants and grass to feed the animals before we let them out. At last, the great door creaked open. And there up in the sky, they saw a glorious glowing arch of many colours. God spoke to Noah again and said, I have put a rainbow in the sky as promised to you and every creature that I will never again send a flood to destroy the whole earth and to remind you to make the world a wonderful place. Every time we see a rainbow, we should remember the new good world that God and Noah created for us. So the story that we just listened to, it reminds us of God's love for us, the rainbow that he sent, of God's love, that he has so much love for us. And we know as his children, we can be absolutely certain of that. Whatever we're going through, we know that God is with us and he'll help us in our good days and he'll help us in our darkest days and the days that we're sad. But he can always be there for us and help us. We just have to talk to him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pray now. Dear Father God, thank you that you are a God and faithful God. Thank you that you never change, that you always love us and are always with us, no matter where we are or what we are doing. Help us to see you and know you more as we choose to praise and worship you, Lord. Just ask for your love and blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I'm going to, hopefully a song will come up next. If not, I'm going to put a link just under the video so you'll just be able to see it just underneath, hopefully. Okay, well, you have a good week and hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.